Hello folks, I'm out again today. I'm with Michael and uh, we're in the Peak District once again. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Now, it's an unusual camp for us today. Not the unusual fact that we're still in this tent and stuff, but an unusual one, that the fact that we're in the forest. Hence you can see it behind me. Now, we don't normally be in the forests. We're normally either up the mountain or somewhere like that, somewhere nice. We just thought we'd have a change. It's my up. It's tired. There's loads of people still up on Kinder Scout today. I just counted eleven. Just count always oh, just counting eleven folks on uh Kinder Lower himself. So yeah, we're all fixed up. There's mine. There's Mike's. There's the fire pit. We've not made that. Um yeah, we decided to do a different wild camp today, so we've come in the forest. Um, well, it's to be different, that's all. And they've given out heavy winds in early hours in the morning, around about 4 or 5 o'clock. So, strong, strong winds as in around about 60 mile an hour or such, so we thought, play it safe, drop down. And yeah, so later on we might uh, take a walk up to Mermaids, which is just literally behind to my left. and further afield than that we can go and see um, Kinder Downfall but it all depends on the weather because it's trying to rain it's coming right miserable now so it all depends on that not sure whether we're going to make a fire later either it depends on the weather because strong winds come in we're not bothering so yeah just an unusual one so what we'll do folks catch up with you later I've had something to eat and chilled out a little. We shall see what we're doing later. Ciao, ciao. Well, folks, just a little bit up further on where we are on the uh, forest. Look at the view we've got. There's Kinder, Kinder Reservoir. Just down this field's Hayfield. This is where our tents are pitched. That to his left, that's Kinder Low. And then we spin round and we've got like Manchester and all that area over that side. And we've got William Clough just underneath here. We've got uh, Sandy Hayes just up here. Loads of people still out. So yeah. Now we've been up here loads and loads of times. Just never camped in the forest, we've always gone through the forest to get to Mermaid's Pool. But today, different. And as you can probably tell, ladies and gents, the wind's picked up. So, the chances of you hearing me when we get further up there are pretty slim. So I apologise for that if you can't hear the audio very well. But, never mind, see you in a minute when we get up there. Here we are, ladies and gents. Mermaid's Pool. Tyson in the summer, <laughs> bloody cold in the winter. There's Mike. And this is all of Kinder Scout. Not all of it, just part of it. Lovely scenery. Reservoir over there, look. Um, I think you'll find that is uh, oh. Woodhead. Woodhead Reservoir, and I uh, forgot what the other one's called. It begins with a T. I can't remember. Anyway, I believe that's what that'll be. Could be wrong. That, ladies and gents, that you can see in the distance, is the Kinder Downfall. You can see lots of people around. Now, the reason why Kinder Downfall is so famous is because the wind comes along this channel, blows the water back up, as it is 
doing now. You probably can't see it because of the GoPros on and they've got focus on that. So you can't really see it very well, but it does. I don't know whether you can see it. Let's see if we can get you closer. As you can hear, the wind's picking up. to the downfall. Look at this review ladies and gents. Can't even see the forest from here. There's mermaids, reservoir. I think that's Hayfield, or wherever it is, right the back there. Not 100 percent sure. Well, oh, I think the rain's starting to come in. Look at them clouds there. They're just starting to come in now. So we're gonna make its way back to the tent. Hello folks, tent bound at the present moment in time, toying it down, probably hear it, it's coming and going, coming and going but still tent bound isn't it, was expected, I expected it coming, so I've currently just made myself a nice hot drink, I'm going to feed my face, can't do no else now. About getting soaking wet. Don't particularly want to get soaking wet considering it's going to be really cold in the morning, so kind of played safe. So, hmm. never mind. Right, yeah, just thought I'd let you know that. But there's a ground good side to this, folks. If it carries on raining really well, the downfall will be massive in the morning. Hey, so that means when we get the big cannon out and we're going to take some proper pickies, it'll be good. Aye. And it's give out strong winds in the morning. Aye, <laughs> so all goes well. Should have some strong, good picks in the morning, weather wise. So, catch up with you later, folks if the rain's disappeared or not, or whatever. See you later. Hey up folks, I'm back. It's three hours on and the rain still has on. Well, it's, it's stopped, starting, stop, starting, stop, starting. Yeah, we haven't built the fire because everything's piss wet through now. Just been out and tried, but no joy. So, and then it started hoeing it down again, so we dived in his tents. Um, and as you can probably hear, it's just trying to start again. So yeah, it's pitch black out there now, it's about, what time is it? Ten past seven. So it's pitch black now. Hmm. Just wondering what to do now. Can't exactly build a fire, so we can't do that. Looks like the feed face time. 
feed your face care. Your tent's a complete mess. Yes. Who cares? Everything fixed. Batteries and charged it up. All's good. Apart from the weather. If the weather went peeing it down, we'd be outside making a nice fire or something. But not happening, is it? So it looks like it's a. Uh, I haven't even got a note to read or anything like that, I've just been playing around with my phone. There's only much, so much of the phone you can play around with, isn't there? So it looks like we're going to have something to eat and have an early night. Right that, folks, catch up with you in the morning. Folks, <laughs> look what we've woke up to. <laughs> snow, snow sheep, snow, snow. Like I said, bloody freezing. This is how cold it got, considering we had all that rain last night. cold. What a, I've got to be honest though folks, what a shite night I had. All I kept doing is sliding off my mat, because I'm on a, what you can't see is, I'm on a slight slope. So I once I slept, got on my mat, and I put them in my tent. Put them in my tent. So I had a restful night last night, it was crap. Absolutely rubbish. I think because you can't rest and that you can't get warm, so I had a really, really rubbish crap night. But never mind, makes up for it when you wake up to sights like this. So you look like a walk around. Dun, 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 dun. This is what we've been waiting for. Come on, snow! There's Mikey's tent room. I don't know what the current temperature is, but it must be somewhere like minus three, minus four. It must be cold, I've got the thicker gloves on. And my bonnet. Sexy that, isn't it? I don't care as long as it keeps me ears in that warm. So you look round here. Oops, no, it tripped up on my guard line. About eight, half eight in the morning, so I'm just about to uh, make myself a lovely hot cup of tea. Get a bit of a breakfast or something, because I am absolutely shattered. You know what I mean, shattered? I am absolutely shattered. I think when I get home, I'll be going straight to bed. But all's been good. Apart from not getting a good night's sleep, I think it's been all re reasonable while camp, apart from the absolute rain, making you stay in the tent. Yeah. It's 
snakes coming. Let's give out more snow for this week. Yes. So hopefully, well, the next two weeks is give out more snow, aren't it? So great, fantastic. I've got another weekend off coming, so we'll be out then and all. Depending on how thick the snow is. But uh, yeah, all's good. Right then, folks, I'm going to zoom off now. Catch up with you on my next world camp. So, thanks for watching. Keep on world camping, and I'll catch up on my next one. See you later. Bye bye. Well, here you go, folks. I'm all packed down now. Look at the nice, lovely footprint where I've been. Hey, <laughs> all the ice. All the ice, look. Hey. So, yeah, look, no trace. No trace. Oh, what's that? What's a twig? it was. No trace look folks, all that's been left from somebody else. So, adios.